chief of IMF in Islamabad and I was also advised that I should see uh, Mr. Sulanki who is the uh, tax advisor of World Bank sitting in Islamabad since last two months and is the main in charge of these reforms. We went to Islamabad and uh, it was to our utter surprise that the IMF mission was in Q Block, Ministry of Finance, in the right wing. Uh, the left wing is uh, basically occupied by our finance minister and the right wing of the Q Block on the fourth floor was occupied just on the right side by the chief of IMF and his team. I, uh, he was expecting us. We had a half an hour meeting which lasted for more than two and a half hours. He was very much interested to find out that what kind of value addition is done. My focus to, to him was that IMF is here to bring in tax reforms because what we know is that our tax to GDP ratio is 9% which is a basic concern to the international world today that Pakistanis don't pay taxes and they are doling their money, their taxpayers money to support Pakistan which is not being appreciated by the friends of Pakistan worldwide so called. So my point was sir that I as a Pakistani, as a businessman fully endorse the views that whatever taxes are there we have to pay honestly and textiles and aptima is one body which pays 100% of its taxes because we are we have a regime which is a withholding tax ex regime on our exports and we have a minimum tax regime even if we don't make any profits which is equivalent to at least 25% tax if we are doing a business which is 4 to 5% of turnover if we pay 1% that tend to amount to 25% of profits but my viewpoint was that why are you putting this regime in place where taxes are on consumption taxes are not on intermittent productions or transfer of raw material from one source of production to another source of production and the first question I was asked was that uh, aren't these mills vertically integrated I said no these mills are not vertically integrated we buy cotton from our farmers the yarn is made by one sect <coughs> fabric 50% is made by organized sector and 50% by unorganized sector in Festaba. processing is again done separately and then finishing and garments is done as one setup so my point of view was that nobody can use cotton for consumption because sales tax is on consumption nobody can use grey fabric for consumption nobody can use dyed fabric for it's the products the made ups the articles which can be consumed so tax if you want to levy tax on consumption the tax should come on the finished stage why are you taxing and then giving us a long lecture or refunding the amount their only focus in two and a half hours was that how efficient refund system they are creating and every time I used to conclude or, and my members used to conclude and my vice chairmen used to conclude the argument Yasin, Asif, Shahzad, Seth Akbar whenever we used to conclude the argument putting him into the corner he used to say no we are giving you a very good refund system I, I explained to him sir six billion dollars is the value of cotton out of that we produce nine billion dollar yarn out of that one and a half billion is exported directly so we'll have to ask for refund there seven and a half billion is transferred to grey fabric which again produces about ten billion dollars of fabric two billion is exported eight billion dollars is directly again transferred to our processing and that produce would give us at least eleven to twelve billion dollars this year so the transaction is not ten billion dollars which you are calculating they asked me a question that if it's 10 billion dollars only it only works out to 850 billion which works out to a tax of 120 billion which works out to maximum 10 billion rupee tax 
tax a month and even if it's stuck for 90 days it will maximum be 30 billion my answer was it's not correct the, there are four different stages every stage has to deposit and every stage has to either adjust or refund seek refund so it's not 10 billion dollars it's 6 billion dollars of cotton I would like to now uh, for ending it would request my central managing committee members who are sitting in Karachi and central managing committee members sitting in Punjab here that I'll need all your help it will not be possible for Aptima to be able to live up to the expectations of the general body if I don't have your health I will need you to stand by me you have taken this task of representing your general body and your members you will have to live up to the expectations and I will request you again and I believe in it and inshallah ta'ala we will be able to come up to the expectations of the membership thank you very much all of you Red, lunch is ready Shazad sahab thank you very much chairman sahab for all the support we have to give you we have to give you a memento on behalf who do you trust to take the memento Shazad <laughs> you do you don't trust Asif Inam? I I will hand it over to both of them. Sabalim, you can't get a little bit of 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 a little bit of